Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we went through Moonstone Mountain, rescued Sentai and Asapa, and uh, kicked Alfonso and Deloco in their heinies, sort of. <laughs> so to speak. What am I doing here? I forgot what I was doing. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to the north. <laughs> yeah, Deloco tends to overload when he gets really mad, which is pretty much all the time. And we managed to squish Alfonso with his own pet, <laughs> so that was awesome. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop talking about that stuff because we're almost to King Ixitaka. How you doing, King? How you doing? Pretty good, I hope. Thank you for saving Asapa. <laughs> yes, thank you for rescuing me. I'd love to thank the, you two ladies personally. But I must return to my priestly duties. Well, it was nice meeting you. Not so fast. You were supposed to tell us the location of the lost city. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. <laughs> you didn't forget, you jerk. King Isataka, with all due respect, where did you get this guy? Is he really a high priest? Of course. He has much knowledge in ancient scriptures and history. Very well. I shall pass on to you the secret of the lost city that has been passed down in my family for many generations. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. That is all. So you got it? What do you mean, that is all? I have no idea what you're talking about. To be completely honest, I don't know what it means either. You need to solve the riddle on your own. Ha <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I give up. If you don't if you didn't know, then you should have said so in the first place. Now calm down, Aka. Listen to what he just told us. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. I know what it means. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man are probably somewhere on this continent. So if we find them, we'll find the lost city. Alright, let's go find this great bird and the golden man. We kind of already did. <laughs> cough, cough. The great bird with its... This is the legend of Rixus that has been passed down from the ancients. He said it differently, I think. <laughs> That's weird. No, I don't care. I will talk to the king. Thanks to you and your friends, Asapa has returned safely to Ixitaka. Please feel free to ask Asapa anything about Rixus that you wish to know. He doesn't know anything. He didn't even know what it meant. Well, anyway, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Freaking Asapa, man. Oh well, we probably would have rescued him anyway. Okay, so there's the gold man. He's at, his giant finger actually has a purpose. It's pointing in the direction of the lost city of Rixis, but we couldn't actually find it until just now. So uh, we're gonna do that, but not yet. We're actually gonna head back to Orteca really quick, so we can talk to Mr. Sentime and uh, what else? I forget. I guess that's all we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just gonna do it really quick. So. Okay. So we're gonna head over to Sentime's little shipperoo and see how he's a doing right now. Honestly, I don't even know how he got back here because pretty sure he didn't have a ship. Because <laughs> his ship is here, so I have no idea how he got here. But uh, anyway, that's game logic for you. Hey kids, how you doing? Daddy sent time is home. Sweet. He, he told me that you were the one that set him free, Mr. Vice. Thank you. No problem, Mr. Wide Eyes Boy. Sent time came home. I'm so happy. 
I'm... <laughs> uh, shoot. Oh, I was gonna make a reference, but I forgot the name. Oh. Well, whatever. Mr. Vice, my husband has come back from the Valuan Mines. I understand you were the one to, who rescued him. I can't thank you enough. Yep, no problem, miss. All in a day's work. For the Blue Rogues. Hey, Hans. Hello, Mr. Vice. Thank you so much for rescuing my father. Mr. Vice is really great. He barges. his... What? Why are you talking about me like I'm not here? That's <laughs> real weird. He barged his way into the blue and mines and rescued my father. I'm learning from my father how to be a ship's engineer. Someday I'd sure like to work on your ship. Oh, okay. That'll probably come into play a little bit later. Uh, yeah, keep him in mind. That would be really awesome. There you are, send time. Ah, hello, Mr. Vice. Thanks to you, I was able to return to my family. This is hardly an adequate expression of my gratitude, but perhaps you could use this. Twin propellers. Sweet. I don't remember what that is, but uh, we will soon find out. Increases dodge and quick. Wow, I, a lot, actually. <laughs> I'm actually going to replace this armored deck. So that sounds like real good. Okay. Thank you, Sentai. You probably needed that for your own ship because it's not even airborne at the moment, but that's okay. Alright, I'm... I think that's all I want to do here. Hopefully. <laughs> well, actually, no. No, there's one more thing. I think uh, after we beat Moonstone Mountain, uh, all the slaves are actually free somehow. <laughs> even though it looked like we couldn't actually help them. I think they're actually free now, so, um, there is one person that will help us out quite a bit, if I can find them. Oh, shoot, I don't even remember where it is. I think it might be... Oh, man. Oh, you know where it is? Is, uh, here, we'll just go this way. <laughs> There's two ways to get there, so... I think it's at the top of that really tall pole. Hopefully. I don't know. Iffy! Anyway, any excuse to listen to this music a little more, I think. It's fair. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these. I didn't actually take this one before. Oink. Okay, Mr. Pole. Here we go. God, this music's so delicious. Nom 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 nom. Mmm. Sprinkle that on your porridge. <laughs> that reminds me. Mountain Peak 11, uh, Jenny. She, she always says she's eating porridge and stuff. And I was like, why don't you say it like without the. in just one syllable? Porridge. <laughs> That would be awesome. Oh, wait, maybe they're not free yet. Oh, shoot. I'm pretty sure this is where they're going to be. Although, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to explore a little bit ar around town. And if I find him, I'll cut to that. And if not, I'll just cut to when we're out of here. So, <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, so apparently the <laughs> the uh, Hortekans are still uh, being held captive that one lady was still freaking out about her son, so... Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I got a little ahead of myself, I guess. That's okay, we'll just head to the lost city of Rixus. Should be over here, according to that man's giant finger. And there it is. <laughs> Hello, Rixus. And this is actually a discovery. That's pretty cool. A uh, huge stone face that stands quietly, buried deep in the forests of Ixitaka. The stones have been fitted so tightly together that not even an insect could crawl between them. It is a remnant of an ancient civilization. Oh, man. Oh, this is like the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to save really quick. 
been a while. <laughs> Moonstone Mountain. Okay, Rixus, how you doing? Man, look at that freaking face. That's awesome. So if you remember, we got two gems from the uh, from the golden man and the bird uh, discoveries. So looks like orange is on this side. To put it in these statues here. Let's try putting in. Uh, I can't remember which one's the gold one. <laughs> I think it's the golden man. Sweet. Okay, good. Scooby dab dooby dab dooby dab. And we'll put the bird one in there. Okay. Whoa, you thought the mouth was gonna open, didn't ya? <laughs> so did I. Well, hello, scarier face. And there's a weird thing in the middle. Actually, I think there might be goodies around here before we head in there. Yep, I knew it. It's a cham. Where is it? Where is it, Cupel? There it is. Okay, and I can't really change the camera here, so we're just gonna have to follow the map on this one. I think there's another goodie in here, maybe. I don't actually remember. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. That's all I wanted. So let's head to this crazy weird thing over here. Whoa, levitating platforms, dude! Dang, ancient civilizations and all their tech. Now I know why they call this place the City of Mist, but I don't remember seeing any mist in the forest. The air is thin. It's a little hard to breathe. We were going up for a long time. I think these mists are actually clouds. But this doesn't look like anything like like a lost city of gold. There's, there's just a bunch of ruins up here. In the old world, Rixus was the capital of the green civilization. It was destroyed by the rains of destruction. Since then, it's been frozen in time. Oh man, look at that crater. <laughs> These craters must have been caused by the moonstones that were bombarding the city. I'm not seeing any gold here! As time passed, the stories about the city probably got more and more exaggerated. We were supposed to find gold here. I should have slapped that dirty old man silly when I had the chance. Totally. <laughs> what the? Uh, who's that? Hello? Ice? If this city has been dead for generations, then who is that? What? Where? Over there! <gasps> He's gone! Where? I don't see anything. Huh? But... But there was someone there! Aka, this city's been dead for a long time. Who else would be here? It's probably just your imagination acting up. Why don't you believe me? I know I saw something. Fina, don't you think that maybe I saw a ghost? A uh, ghost? Um, what's a ghost? <laughs> it's been a while since you said something like that. A ghost is, um, how should I explain this? Well, it's something very scary, that's for sure. Really? Well, if, if you're this scared, Aka, this ghost must be something scary indeed. 
The two things I hate the most right now are dirty old men and ghosts. Vice, let's let's not go. We'll be cursed. Oh come on, Aka. We came all this way for the green crystal, and we're not about to go back empty-handed. You could just wait here until we get back. Oh no, I'm not gonna wait here all by myself with those things out there. Alright, alright, I'll go with you. I can't believe I'm doing this. Aka, don't worry, man. We fought crazy things. I'm sure ghosts aren't that bad. Hopefully. <laughs> Yikes. Look at this place, man. Ah, oh, the rains of destruction. Jeez. It's kind of incredible how one collision could make that big a crater. But, um... Yeah, I think we just go this way. Upsy stairs is? Whoa. Whoa, look at this. I think this is cool. They have like these Aztec type... I don't know if it's Aztec, like kind of Mayan style ruins. These stairs going up on either side like that. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I think we actually want to go this way. I think. <laughs> this music really mysterious. Whoa! Okay, woo, we got a couple new enemies and they're pretty crazy looking. So we got Total Totelms and uh, Kalax, both of which are red. <laughs> I know it's hard to guess because they're all green looking. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to shoot, man. I'm pretty sure these totems really don't do anything unless you attack them, but I'm not positive. Of course, I'm going to use Lambda Burst and completely screw myself over, but what else is new? Yeah, see, they're just assessing damage. That's weird. Fire of course, they're red, so that's probably not even the best attack to be using against them. Yeah, whatever. Seems all these enemies are pretty weak. Some of these Kellax have like they have cloth on them, like <laughs> someone's here, you know. And these are domestic animals. It's pretty weird. Pretty weird indeed. Okay, let's keep climbing here. Up and up. Um, 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 I think before we go that way, we're gonna actually head over here. Hopefully. <laughs> Again, another place I don't really remember. Uh, take this. Okay. That'll work. Whoa! Okay, what is it? What the heck is this? Langries. Well, since there's a lot of them and they're blue, I'm sure they're going to be taken out with a limb. First, hopefully. Let's see. Boosh! Yep. <laughs> oh, I love when battles are that easy. Drachma, you said that last time. Some new material, man. Okay. If we head down these stairs, I'm pretty sure there's an item down here. Hopefully. Yep. It's cool. All these chests look a little bit different, like depending on the area. It's pretty cool. Three Ryzen crystals. I can deal with that. Yes, indeed. Man, my voice is starting to give out. Oh my god. Save me! Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm probably just going to end it when we get to a good stopping point, but let me see here. This place can be almost as confusing as Moonstone Mountain, so... 
But I'm lucking out with pretty easy battles. <laughs> Which is nice. Okay. Um, actually, I lied. This isn't really nearly as confusing as Moonstone Mountain, just because... I mean, it may look confusing, but it's actually not that bad. There aren't very many places to actually go, so it's almost linear. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Stone cutter. Pretty sure that's a boomerang. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's a sword. Okay. Ooh, pretty good one. Well, alrighty. That is awesome. Wow, look at the size of that crater. What the? Oh, it's two. There's two right next to each other. Oh my god, this place got obliterated. It's kind of interesting. You don't see these craters anywhere else. It's like. It's only here. So, yeah. That ain't no natural rainstorm, I tell you what. Of course, uh, a rain of moonstones isn't really natural anyway. <laughs> Whatever. What? <gasps> oh, snap! Ugh, that's so scary. I hate when when horror games always make stuff like you only see the shadow of something and then it just like disappears into into some dark corner or something. That's some scary stuff. Two sacralin crystals. I think those heal all like all your health. Oh my god, okay. Uh, this enemy is a little rare. This is uh, Slothstra. He's actually quite a pain in the butt, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I think I'm actually gonna just try to use Cutlass Fury in the first turn and see how that goes. BAM! Yeah, look how much health he has. Yikes, man. He's like a freaking mini boss. <laughs> Although we did take out a good deal of health, so you shark boosh. Okay, well this is definitely not showing off how difficult this fight can be, but <laughs> you know, just take my word for it. Um, and look at him. Something about that pose is just really wrong. Please don't counterattack. Dang it! Oh my lord. He sure takes a sweet time attacking. Although he is a sloth, I guess. So. There you go. Yeah, I think that enemy's a little rare. Because I don't really see it that often. Anywho, I am going to heal myself real quick. Okay. And here we are in this crazy levitational platform joyous town of confusing sauce. I know it's a, it's a lot of a lot of words. <laughs> I think we want to get off right here. Wait, before we go over here. Is that a hand? It is a hand. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Never noticed that before. Okay. So, let's go up here really quick. I really need to... Ooh. I really need to find a save point so I can rest my weary voice. <laughs> I'm sure this episode's been way too long anyway. Okay. Yeah, oh man, I, I don't even know how long this episode's gonna be, honestly. Uh... You know what, screw it, I can, I, can, I can go another episode. So, I'm just gonna end it here, because I don't want this to be, like, a freaking 40 minute video or something. So, next time we'll continue through the uh, Lost City of Rixus, 
and uh, hopefully find our way to the end. So, yep, I'll see you guys next time.